Far at the lower part of the sea, lies an extraordinarily excellent underwater realm. Complete with a pearl-designed manor and a swank ruler of ocean water, Lord Sidon. Lord Sidon is a strong ruler of the oceans, he has numerous children. They love the underwater world wherein they live. Lord Sidon and his brothers made the humans, whose love kept up the gods' interminability. Over the long haul, nonetheless, the humans started to revile and resist their creators. The half-god Arthar was born to the mortal Queen Morgan who was conceived by Lord Sidon during the attack of King Kilgran at Mount Jordan. After discovering her conception, an angered Kilgran orders the execution for both of them. In Lord Sidon's retaliation, a lightning jolt strikes the king and seriously obliterates him. The queen was murdered yet the child is rescued by a witch named Lady Sulla. Lady Sulla raised Arthur along with her daughters, Lady Barbara and Lady Gillian. After some time, Arthar grew and became the strongest creature in the ocean. Despite the fact that the ocean which Lady Sulla had cautioned her children not to enter the human world, Arthar overlooked her. Lady Sulla then asked her youngest daughter, Lady Gillian, to watch out for Arthar. Point one evening, Arthar slipped to the outside of the sea and saw the world over the ocean interestingly. Incidentally, the humans were celebrating Princess Cassiopeia crowning ceremony in the castle. Eyes shimmering with amazement, Arthar watched their excitement from afar. Arthar began to have passionate feelings for Princess Cassiopeia at that first sight. Sadly, that excitement soon changed. The sky obscured, a vicious tempest hit and stifled the royal residence's lights. The royal residence then started to implode. I need to save her, yelled Arthar towards Lady Gillian. Arthar moved quickly. With his agility, he saved the princess. He reconstructed the royal residence and placed the princess on an empty ground. Lady Gillian who kept her affections for Arthar since quite a while then swam away, leaving Arthar with the humans. Shortly thereafter, Arthar heard Princess Cassiopeia's men were searching for her. At the point when the princess was completely cognizant, Arthar had gotten back to the ocean. Sadly, one of the watchmen had seen Arthar, and he quickly enlightened the king concerning it, King Cedric, father of Princess Cassiopeia was extremely angry and proclaimed a war against the divine forces of the ocean. The king sent his solid armed force to slaughter each creation in the ocean with the aid of Lord Aragon, the ruler of the underworld kingdom. The witch, Lady Sulla heard that Arthar became enamored with a human, she promptly enlightened King Sidon concerning it. The king endorsed the affections of them only if Arthar was able to demonstrate the force of ocean divine beings towards human beings. After that incident, the days went on as usual in the underwater kingdom. However, Arthar was unable to quit contemplating the princess. In the interim, detestable powers were working in the hidden world realm. Lady Gillian settled on a concurrence with Lord Aragon, who was the ruler of the hidden world, to execute Princess Cassiopeia. Meanwhile, Lord Aragon was additionally searching for an approach to topple the authority of Lord Sidon. At that point, the gods sent a couple of dark spirits to persuade Arthar that Lord Aragon could assist him to be with the princess. Arthar without delay went with the dark spirits to meet the hidden world god. I have a proposal for you, the most grounded and powerful Arthar, said Lord Aragon when Arthar had entered his residence. What offer would you be able to make? Asked Arthar. I will make you a full human, and you can be with your lover. Only if you can make her go to the land of Ogren alone in two days, you'll be together perpetually as mortals without losing your great power. If you fail to persuade her, you will lose your strength, child of Sidon, said the god. Arthar consented to Aragon's offer. At that point, the god sent him as a full human to the royal residence to meet Princess Cassiopeia. Arthar and the princess immediately became close. Arthar figured out how to persuade the princess to go to the land of Ogren, so that he could re-establish his power. Lady Gillian got irritated as she needed to control Arthar. I need to act on my own, said Lady Gillian. During the princess journey to the land of Ogren, Gillian cursed her, and she transformed into a revolting elderly person. Gillian then transformed herself into Princess Cassiopeia and proceeded with her excursion to the land of Ogren. At the point when Lady Gillian showed up at the land of Ogren, Lord Aragon sent his dark spirits to capture Arthar and carry him to the land of origin. Arthar was stunned when he saw Lady Gillian on the land. 
He was exceptionally miserable that he was unable to re-establish his power back. Lord Aragon devoured Ardhar power and executed every creation in the ocean and earth. King Cedric sent his solid armed force to fight with Lord Aragon, but their mortal strength was no match with Lord Aragon, King Cedric and his queen were murdered while Princess Cassiopeia hid herself in Mount Alden. Lady Sulla and Lady Brabra united their strength to fight against Lord Aragon. However, the ocean witches were defeated. At the final gasp of Lady Sulla, she urged Arthar to seek power from his father, Lord Sidon. On top of the Mount Alden, Arthar seek a great power from his father, Lord Sidon. Lord Sidon from the sea heard him and conveyed him his power. Arthar re established his strength back and rout the god of Hidden World. Lord Aragon was killed and Lady Gillian proceeded to administer over the kingdom of Hidden World. Princess Cassiopeia then met Arthar on the top of the mountain. Lord Sidon showed up before them and gave his child a few words. Be free my child, you have demonstrated the force of God towards the humans. Lord Sidon then left them together on the mountain. Arthar married Princess Cassiopeia and ruled the kingdom on the earth. After a few years, Queen Cassiopeia delivered a baby and she named him Cotes. Arthar gave up his power to Cotes so he could return to the underwater kingdom.